without dance, there is nothing. When you're in the womb, you're dancing with your mother's heartbeat to bring life to yourself. Your mother dances to push you out. Dance when you're learning how to walk, how to crawl, how to stand. Even when you're crying, it's a dance. Everything in life is a dance. I even bartend. I can't help but to think about movement and just rhythm and everything about dance when I'm doing anything. Without it, there is no fluidity. There's no life, period. I feel like because uh, like the earth is literally moving, like literally spinning, the ground and the uh, roots and just stuff are like everything's growing and, and moving in some way, the waves moving, trees moving from the wind, like people, there's just like a natural, a natural rhythm. I feel like always that people are just like constantly following. We're just like, we just have to release something. As a root and a tree, like all of our patterns are the nature's pattern. None of that is ours. And we have so much to learn from um, not only nature, but the animals, the leaves, but like everything is, has been here before us. So what can we learn and what can we integrate into how we work and how we live? We just have to release something. I think movement is change. It is what we should always be striving for. Even if it's like very subtle, it's still change. Yeah, movement is change. And change is necessary. And it's enlightening. And it's love. And it's care. I think when we are in creative processes or just dancing together at a club or dancing with people and feeling that back and forth is a bigger feeling than anything really. I feel like that's all it is, it's just like bringing out that, that guttural feeling that you have to do something and it's, that's just what comes out. You know, the, the movement of a room and I'm even more intrigued or excited when I see a room of very um, aware and intentional people who can use their community to uplift each other. So I guess collectivity to me is are the dynamics of that, uh, the dynamics of the conflict and com coming back together and noticing your brother or sister, um, uplifting people, um, bringing them together, and I think dance because it's so dynamic, does that really well. It's just like, wow, this is a very, like, open, physically open environment, and then, like, within, like, everyone else just being so kind and so caring and so, like, just, like, genuinely interested and, like, curious in each other. Coming here, meeting um, tribe members, um, I'm very inspired by everyone's curiosity, by everyone's kindness, by everyone's questions, and by everyone's intentionality. Immediately I felt, I felt one like tribe as an organization. I felt like y'all's collective, you know, like a solid group of like, one, these people know what they're doing and they are, are clearly very good at what they're doing to like push this forward. I can tell that uh, Everyone is immensely curious. That's the word I think that has been coming to mind as I'm thinking about this experience. And it's encouraging me to also be um, immensely curious and softer. I love to collaborate with different forms of artists to make sure that everyone feels safe, comfortable, seen, and heard. And since the first time that I heard of Tribe, I've actually done an immense amount of research and lightweight stalking. <laughs> because I just think this platform is one that I've never seen before in terms of the artistic director wanting to allow a space for their dancers, collaborators, movers, artists to express themselves and how they choose to and not just how they you know, imagine to see them on stage. I am a dancer, performer, multi-creator of different art forms, and I currently collaborate with Tribe. My name is Imani Angel Godin-County. 
I was born in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I currently live in New York. My name is Amaria Nicole Stern. Um, I am originally from Dallas, Texas, and I'm currently living in Los Angeles. I am a performer, a movement-based performer. Um, I am an arts administrator. I think those are the two career-centered identifiers. Um, I am a friend, a sister, a daughter. Uh, my name is Marirosa Crawford. I usually go by Madi. I was born in Boston, but I was raised in Miami, Florida my entire life. And I just moved to Los Angeles. My name is Michaela Chiplin. I go by Chip. I'm from Austin, Texas, but more specifically Pflugerville, Texas. And I'm currently based in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And we can't reach the collective without people imagining different worlds um, and different ways of life and a centering of creativity and um, play and research, like melding all those things together in also a multidisciplinary kind of way. Afrofuturism, a future where I exist, where you exist, everyone, everyone black exists. And now I'm thinking like, what does that look like? I guess that's what we do in dance also is just imitate the dynamics of our relationship. And it's through Afrofuturism and world building and world imagining and all of that being able to lend itself to boundlessness.